Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I'm very glad that 2020 is over. Um, and obviously this is the first week of 52 weeks left ahead that we can reshape our thinking and how we look at situation. So if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. Um, on this page, I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, please do so and please like and comment this video. So let's get started. 2020 has not been an easy year for any of us. It's been one of the most mentally, physically, emotionally challenging years in history. Some of us lost people dear to us, some of us lost our jobs, and some of us just lost our sanity a little bit with everything that's been happening. I think during the course of this year, we've all come to realize how important our mental wellness is and just having mental and emotional resilience because being locked down at home and just being separated from everybody, living in the conditions that we've lived in, is not our natural mental and emotional state. We're in a state of panic, we're under trauma. So I think it's so important for us that it's a new year. I know that it's not about new year, new me and new resolutions, but it gives you sort of a reset button to start looking at things differently and working on your mental health and just becoming mindful and just being aware of yourself and what's going on and how your emotions are making you feel and how they're affecting your actions and just generally your life and outlook on things. So the tips that I would give you guys for just slowly taking the first steps into just becoming a little bit more mentally strong is first and foremost, reach out to someone, do not isolate yourself. I mean, I know we're physically isolated, but that doesn't mean that we have to be mentally and emotionally isolated. So it's important for you to find someone that you trust, someone that you're close to, and start confiding in them, ranting to them if needs be, just opening up and being a lot more talkative about things that you think about, things that are keeping you up at night, and just things that are making you feel a little bit emotionally vulnerable. Because as human nature, we're not born to be alone. We seek partnerships and friendships, we're social beings. And with everything that's been happening and how separate and pulled away we've been from our families and friends and even work colleagues, it's so important for us to then work on our emotional connections with people and also not bottling things up, not keeping everything inside, just trying to get it out there, speak to someone that you trust and just get it out in the open and then it's gone. It's not taking real estate in your head anymore because you've thrown it out, it's out there. So it's important to build these and work on these connections and find someone that you truly trust and start turning to them and confining in them. My next tip for you guys would be to set a routine in place for your mornings and evenings. Because when you have a routine for morning and evening, then that kind of sets the precedent for the rest of your day. It sets the tone and the mood for how you're gonna go about your day. And they don't have to be like major things like hour run in the morning and then a vigorous workout and a smoothie absolutely not but things like make sure that when I get out of bed today I'm gonna to make my bed if you're one of those people that leaves it or that you make sure that you have breakfast before 11 a.m. every day that your body's nourished and it's you know you've got the energy for the rest of your day so little things like that to set yourself a routine and same for the evening if it's your skincare, then you know, make sure that you give yourself that 10 minutes that you need to really pamper your skin and really like make yourself feel good or be it read a book or whatever that may be that works for you. Make sure that you set a routine in place. And my last tip for you guys would be to start meditating. I hope I don't sound like a broken record because I do say this in majority of my videos, but meditation isn't just about calming your mind and you have to sit still and you have to think about things. It's about just looking at everything from a different perspective. If you incorporate meditation into your day, every day, if you can. If not, then start with every other day or at least twice a week and then keep adding because you will see the benefits even from twice a week. So you would naturally want to keep doing it because it's going to make you feel good. But 
I cannot stress enough how important meditation is, especially now because our minds are overworking, because our body, bodies are not. We're sitting still at home, so we're using, burning up all that energy by thinking and thinking and overthinking. So when you meditate, you're stilling your mind. And by stilling your mind, you're getting your power back, you're getting control over your thoughts and emotions back. So that's why meditation is so important and is generally, like I said, not just to suddenly control your mind only, but also to just generally have an approach that's a lot more positive, calm, and mindful to things and situations. Because when you meditate and you're in a generally calm state, things come to you in a different way, the perspective changes. So it overall just puts you in a lot more positive and self-empowering state of mind. That's why it's very important. And I'll be honest, I'm guilty of not sticking to meditation and being consistent with it. But because of that, I personally see a change in myself and how I think about things, how I react to situations and people when, I ha when I've meditated for a little while, practiced meditation, and the times that I haven't and have been neglectful, just sat on the couch and watched some TV instead of using that time to meditate or do something that was just helping me be in a better mental state. And I see the difference in myself and I've seen it in people around me. That's why I'm always stressing this that if you guys could incorporate this in your routines of day to day, take just 10 minutes for yourself and just still your mind. Just breathe deeply, exercise some sort of breathing exercise and just calm your mind. And the rewards will be just out of this world, incredible. It'll really, really change your mindset. So I'm really wishing all of you a very happy start to the year. I know that start of January is always quite gloomy and more so this year because we live in such uncertain times. But getting yourself mentally there, preparing yourself and being aware of yourself and what's going on around you just makes you feel a lot more well equipped with what's to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my page yet, please do so. And I hope to see you again here next week. Thank you so much. Mwah.